Here we have an example of designing a couple line band bus filter. It is required to design a couple line band bus filter within equal 3 and 0.5 dB equal river response. The center frequency is assumed to be 2 GHz and the bandwidth delta is 10% and Z node is 50 ohm. And it is required to remind what is the attenuation at 1.8 GHz. According to the previous discussion, the first step is that we start with the low pass filter prototype. So for 0.5 dB ripple, the prototype, the values of G for the prototype is given by this table. For n equals 3, we are going to use these values. So G1 is 1.5963, G2 is 1.0967, G3 is 1.5963, and finally G4 is 1. From these values of G, we can obtain the values of the corresponding inverters for the coupled transmission line sections by using Z node G1 equal the square root of pi delta over 2 G1. Delta is 10%, 0 0.1. And G1 here is 1.5963. So from this, we can obtain G1. For the case of G2 and G3, we can obtain G2 and G3 by the relation by delta over 2 Gn minus 1 multiplied by Gn. So for the case of G2, it would be by delta over square root G1 multiplied by G2. And similarly, G3, Z0 G3 would be by delta over square 2 square root G2 multiplied by G3. The other end would be Z0 G4 would be square root by delta over 2 G3 multiplied by G4. G3 is 1.59, G4 is 1. From the values of the transformer, we obtain the even impedance and the odd impedance. And from the even impedance and odd impedance for each transformer, we can determine the value of the width and the separation between the coupled line transmission lines for each section. On the other hand, the length of each section is lambda by 4. So, the length is the same for all sections. So, in this case, the values of N1234, the corresponding G, G1, G2, G3, this would correspond to Z0 Gn, where Gn is the value of the inversion. So, Z0 G1, Z0 G2, Z0 G3, Z0 G4. And from the inverter values, we obtain the even and odd impedances. And from the even and odd impedances, we can obtain the corresponding width and separation for each coupled line section. And actually, to determine the performance of this filter, we are going to make the circuit with the values of the inverters and we load the circuit with Z node and from this we obtain the reflection coefficient at the input of the circuit so the attenuation coefficient would be 1 minus the square root of S11 square or the power inversion loss in this case so according to the values of Z0 Gn, 
we insert these values in the equivalent circuit and from the equivalent circuit we can obtain the performance of the filter in this case. On the other hand, it is required to determine the attenuation at uh, omega equal 1.8. We know that for the band bus transformation, we can replace or we replace omega by 1 over delta omega over omega naught minus omega naught over omega. So, in this case, if the value of omega is 1.8 and omega naught is 2 and the bandwidth is 0.1, this corresponds to minus 2.11. So the value of omega of the equivalent or low bus filter prototype is 2.11. And in this case, Omega over omega c minus 1, or the magnitude of omega minus, over omega c minus 1, would be 2.11 over omega c, which is 1 for the prototype, minus 1. So it would be 1.11. Means that the value of omega over omega c minus 1 is 1.11. And we are talking about n equals 3 is the order of our filter. So at this frequency, the attenuation in this case would be around minus or 20 dB. So the attenuation at the frequency 1.8 GHz for this band bus filter would be around 20 dB. How it comes? We convert it from the band bus filter to the equivalent low bus filter prototype and from this value to the cutoff frequency of the prototype which is 1 we determine omega over omega c minus 1 and from omega c to uh, over omega c minus 1 at this order of the filter we determine the attenuation ok alright uh, it should be noted that uh, the coupled line transmission line section it can be folded to reduce the size. So instead of using cascaded coupled line transmission line section, we can use cascaded folded coupled line transmission line section. And as a concluding remarks on coupled line filters, there are many other type filters can be constructed by using coupled line sections. If you remember uh, the first uh, video about coupled line filters, we have different examples of band bus, band stop low bus, and high bus filter. So there are different configurations. We only study one configuration, and most of these are the band bus or band stop in general. Uh, one particular compact design is the integrated filter, which can be obtained from coupled line filter by folding the transmission line. So instead of using a uh, coupled transmission line in linear cascade form, it can be uh, also by folding the line at zero node points. So in this case, the size of the filter would be smaller than the case of uh, cascaded coupled line filter. Uh, in a linear 